still a work in progress, but man, that's so fun to play. Especially uh, th this kind of thing. Thank you guys. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I've been playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV uh, recently, um, I've, and I've been playing with like a notepad, but like on my desk, just writing songs down as I come up. Uh, so you'll definitely hear more, uh, more from me uh, if you're into FF14 music. I arranged this uh, about a week ago, um, but yeah, haven't practiced it as much as I need to. Like, there's one spot I may rework, but it's kind of fun. It's that slide, I think that's hurting me. the speed that it goes from remembering right. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with Husky. Uh, uh, I don't, I think I can say it, but uh, yeah, he reached out the, and I think I'm gonna be on one of his collabs. I don't know if that's hush hush or not, but yeah, Husky's great. Uh, man, I, I wish I could play electric like he does. Oh my lord, like now when I pick up an electric, it's yeah, not uh, what I had in mind when I was, you know playing electric guitar when I was 15. Uh, do I have plans to do more Last of Us arrangements? To be honest, I, I don't know too many songs from it. Um, I, I watched my older brother play The Last of Us, but I don't remember any songs from it. Maybe um, Last of Us 2, there's, there's a couple songs that Ellie does that would be fun. Oh, appreciate it, bud. What do I think is the main difference in style between Uematsu and Soken? Yeah, I think it's uh, a lot of uh, melody. Like, I think uh, Uematsu has uh, like stronger like melody as well as um, maybe like some chromatic, more chromatic use. I think, um, and I think Soken more has like uh, atmosphere emphasis. But that's just me. And it and it changes like track to track, you know. There, I think the FF sixteen, just that one game was what like eight eight CDs or something like that. All right, let's do an FF sixteen song. Going like, which ones will I mess up? <laughs> Let's do uh, this one. I haven't, uh, I haven't done the video for this one yet, uh, but uh, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, Uematsu is definitely goaded. Like, how many melodies can you like just write? that are bangers after bangers, you know, for such a 
like long career. That's just like a crazy like skill to have when it's like how many melodies have been written, you know? Hey Hoto, what's up man? guys thanks again for being here i, I want to stream more regular regularly um so I'm, i've been thinking you know at least like once a week things have been kind of crazy lately for me um but thankfully things are like like starting to normalize and yeah that's just something i would like to do more of and it's just like a way to i think connect more and yeah so hope you all are enjoying the streams and Hope you be here for future ones.
Just channeling my uh, surrounding desert on that one. <laughs> so there's a reason I haven't uh, gotten the videos out for this one and the desert dims, and that's because and, and Sultana dreaming, um, Sultana dreaming. I'm uh, I'm trying to go film by a cactus, <laughs> so I haven't I haven't done those yet. Uh, thanks, guys. Oh, this this is uh. A good palette cleanser. Yeah, I love playing that one. It feels just like it fits on the guitar perfectly. Oh, appreciate it, Cat Nappy. I hope uh, your day gets better. The tiniest spotted cactus. Oh, talking about other filming ideas, uh, one of my favorite songs I've been listening to lately has been uh, A Cat Relaxing in the Sun. Uh, <laughs> um, and I want to get my cats together, like, in front of a window or something and just, like, sun rays hit them, yeah. <laughs> With me playing guitar. I just noticed I haven't been able to see uh, the YouTube uh, chat. Sorry if I've been ignoring you guys. Let me get this over here. How many guitars do I have? That is a good question. Um... <laughs> you know, you you know, you know, uh, are into guitar when you just start uh, when you can't just like rattle off a number, you know. Um, I didn't see the. Oh, sorry, I didn't see your question, Jason. Um, so, I have this guitar, this is my Jacobson guitar, um, a guitar built by Andrew Leslie Smith is in the other room, who, who just worked on this guitar, um, so shout out Andrew, if you're in the Phoenix area, hit him up if you need some repairs, or Luthier builds fantastic guitars, those are three. And I have a guitar that I've had since I was in high school. Um, I film on that guitar yeah, even now. It's kind of like a sentimental thing. Um, so I think that's... I also have a silent guitar. I don't know if, uh, if you guys are familiar, but, you know, more or less, it's six strings and uh, it has a hollow body. Like, it's literally, like, I don't know, like a pole or something that's like the shape of a guitar. Um, I used to arrange using that back in the day, uh, back when I lived in an apartment. So a lot of times my sleeping hours would be crazy, and then, uh, you know, I don't want to annoy my neighbors. I use Augustine uh, guitar strings. They are kind enough to sponsor me. Shout out Augustine been using them for I think like 10 years now. All right, this is Pallet Town. Shout out to my mom that's in the chat. I re she probably re probably remembers us getting Pokemon Red. Oh my god. Many stories could be told about that. <laughs> I'll tell them after I play this.
want to play it uh like double speed like it, i think it's a good bit faster on the original i might try that real quick <laughs> playing Pokemon Red back in the day. As we all did. As we all did. Unless you were a Pokemon Blue enjoyer. But everybody has yellow. They 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 have red and yellow or blue and yellow. Blello. Um so I remember getting Pokemon Red. I think I've told this on stream before. But I didn't know how to leave the first like room that you are in. I didn't know that the rugs were the door. So we spent an entire AAA batteries worth, you know, just circling in the first room where you like choose your first Pokemon. Yep. We didn't realize uh, until later that you need an AC adapter and problem solved. Went through many, many batteries. Okay, there's a little short one for you guys. Uh, your first was blue and your sister got red. Oh man, that's that's like the dream. You could like trade. Oh my god, I remember going to the Pokemon Center and going to the trading console and just going, I have no one to trade with. Sad. Until I went to Books A Million one time and it like, I don't know if y'all remember like Books A Million having like Pokemon meetups. I don't even know if you guys know what Books A Million is. How, how, how old am I? Um, but they had like these things where you could get badges or something. And I remember going there, it blew my mind. And I remember like seeing other people's Pokemon, learning about Missing No. Oh my lord. All right, this is Night Song.
Let's keep that going. Baldur's Gate set there. Appreciate it, Painkiller. Yo, what's up, Walker? Thanks for being here. Hey, Ocelot. All right. 
that one's really hard on a tablet because <laughs> oh my god I'm like playing playing happy feet trying to turn pages All right, we're about to get a little bit spoopy. All right. I tried to get this out for Halloween, but didn't arrange it in time. played a little bit of uh, Baldur's Gate 2 on, uh, I think it was like PS2. I don't remember too much about it. Uh, but me and my me and my brothers have been playing a Baldur's Gate. Uh, thanks for the follow. Um, we've been playing <laughs> an Irish papaya. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. <laughs> Makes me think of uh, Delta State, which is a Mississippi college, which is uh, the fighting okra. Anyways. Um, yeah, that totally threw me off. <laughs> Anyways, this is the nightmare begins.
new arrangement alert. It's a little tricky in a, a couple sections, but I think the, the trickiness is worth it. Kind of a subtle trick there. I haven't put this out yet, but when I do, this section. Man, it's so hard to get that inner voice moving around without changing too many fingers. But I, I broke it down and was like, okay, doing this fingering makes it so you have to transition less. I think it's like three times. Like, here's. And that's once. And then you can just move this one back. And here's two. that's less than like doing this then I think this is probably pretty comfortable then moving again and moving again uh, but yeah inverted fingerings uh, do I know the dwarf fortress uh, mode thing I don't unfortunately have a good dinner Martin Matthew Martin thanks for being here bud Okay, let's do this. I got really into the Star Ocean, the second story soundtrack. <laughs> oh my god, I chose like at least 12 songs I want to do. And uh, yeah, may play a couple uh, that I haven't released yet. Uh, but this is definitely a fave. I've seen uh, I've seen a couple videos with that. How's the uh, the re uh, ugh, the reverb?
Yo, appreciate that, Chigo. <laughs> I'll play a Xenogears song for you. Yeah, uh, not all these songs are uh, uh, um I guess the some of them I've done. <laughs> like I think most of the stream has been new arrangements, but uh the venerable forest I've uh done. So that's on YouTube somewhere. Maybe from the last month or two. Right, this is a a new one from uh the boy in the heron. I don't have added yet. Thanks for the sub, uh, Orgable. Appreciate it, brother. Give me them Bezos dollars. Yeah, I, I, I did New World soundtrack. They, they got my social. I got a couple Bezos dollars. Appreciate a digit hand. Y'all yeah, play something uh, with Jill's theme.
the B section of that song is so gorgeous. It's so nice. All right, if I'm in this tuning, I gotta play this song. Appreciate it, appreciate it, uh, George Sebastian. Do this one on my right leg. I, I, keep, for, I keep forgetting Mia's just like chilling on the floor <laughs> behind me. Has she been moving at all? Hey, mommy, me. Hey, mommy. so nice. Sorry for my flagrant rubato there. <laughs> oh yeah, I just spilled tea on myself. Alright, we're gonna do a little covert little shirt action here. A little shirt wipe. There we go. 
<laughs> it's just tea, right? How do I do the 7532 in Hideaway? Well, let's find out. I assume you mean like the, the wide uh, kind of leaps. Oh, thanks for being uh, here, Denmo. I appreciate you being here. Like, watch some of your videos. Makes me feel good to see, like, <laughs> you know, fellow YouTuber peeps. Um, let's try Hideaway. I haven't played this in a minute. Um, I assume you're talking about that. I prefer a pinky shift. Could also do maybe like this. But yeah, um, it's kind of basically just like where you shift because you need to shift at some point. I prefer this shifting at the beginning because then I'm set for everything else so I think of it as like a ba -ba -da -dum, instead of yeah <laughs> hard to describe oh my god make me think of like so many music lessons I've been in where it's just me and the teacher just shittily singing <laughs> like guitar lines together It's like, no, it should be diddly dee dee instead of diddly dee dee. <laughs> like, I feel like that, <laughs> that was probably like 10% of my lessons. All right, this hide hideaway. Yo, what's up, Marcus?
7532. <laughs> that is definitely what I think about uh, when I think of the song, though. Ba -da -da -da. Appreciate it, guys. All right. Well, I think this uh, breaks a stream record. I don't think we've had 154 viewers. I'm on uh, YouTube and Twitch right now. So, yeah, shout out. Guys, I appreciate you being here. All right. Let's just try this song. I'm probably going to screw it up. but it's one that, that I'd like to just commit to memory, honestly. Okay. So I played this one with the capo. I wonder if I can do it without it. do it on this guitar without buzzing it's crazy I oh, appreciate you Josh thank you so much let's just try it one day I'll be able to do mental math with a capo this one a little bit under. Thank you. 
just said Mia's cleaning herself in rhythm. <laughs> Hey man, she definitely sticks her paw up in there. So I hope you look forward to that. Mia, stop giving everyone a show. Be a decent lady. Our dog got uh, neutered this last week, so that's... Uh been the thing. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine said the funniest thing and he said <laughs> he said about uh, Charlie, my dog getting neutered, he said that me and Nicole are taking No Nut November seriously. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Poor Charlie. He actually peed on me right before this stream. True. And right here. <laughs> Little uh, pre-stream pee. Love it.
Oh, that one's a classic by the Uematsu. <laughs> Appreciate it, Zero Ambition. Thank you, bud. Hey, what's up, uh, Fade uh, 2012? Uh, you're an event org organizer for Final Fantasy XIV JP. Yeah. Hit me up for uh, for Fan Fest. <laughs> I'm actually doing a Final Fantasy XIV event in October. I don't know if I can reveal all the info, to be honest. So I'm super being super unprofessional. But uh, if you're in St. Louis, it's going to be in St. Louis. So want to see a chance to see me play some Final Fantasy XIV music live? At your place. And, and I guess the stream, right? All right. Yeah, I'd like to p start playing... Uh, I'd like to start playing live again. Yeah, October 2024 in St. Louis. Um, but yeah, I, I'd like to start uh, playing maybe at some like video game conventions. Uh, Missouri. Um, just because I think it'd be fun to do that kind of thing. I haven't played uh, live too much in the last uh, three years, but I used to play, man, probably like three times a week or something like that, doing gigs and that kind of stuff. Honestly, doing this, this stream uh, flexes those muscles again. Yeah, I'll announce it uh, when it's a little closer. Hell, you may you may be able to. I think it's called like Fate, uh, St. Louis. Don't quote me. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I know it's like almost a year away, but yeah, it'll be super fun. Let's do some Zelda. This is Hatano Village. Let's do this then a uh, song of healing from Majora's Mask, I think. Uh yeah, my my email's on my website if you uh need to send me uh, an email. Alright, hope you enjoy guys. Thank you. 
beautiful garbage truck going by at the end of that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, the dulcet sounds of the brakes brings me back. Thanks, Painkiller. Thanks, Jason. Is it marimba? I thought it was uh, steel drums. With that one, I uh, I had thought like, okay, do I want to do the little, you know, whatever it is that you'd call that, like a trill, I guess. Um, you know, that kind of thing. But I, I was thinking like, okay, this is like steel drums. So often how steel drums plays like a single note is just by playing over and over again. I think the same for marimba. Uh, kind of like guitar with tremolo. You know, the, It's like a way to kind of have a long note out with, you know, weak. You, on guitar, you can't like crescendo a note after it's been played, right? Uh, same for drums, like the attack is right at the beginning, maybe compared to a violin or something. So I was thinking like, okay, let me just get the harmony, because that's like the idea is to have the sustained note. So. To me is more intuitive than, uh, you know, I don't know about you guys, but it definitely makes it a little easier too. <laughs> Let's do a song of healing. This one was funny because I think I was, I, w I arranged this like while I had COVID. So. <laughs> I healed. Oh yeah, that is. shifted a ton. I used to play that at gigs all the time. sweating my computer heats up this room like crazy what's up Aya thanks for being here yo Makiko <laughs> more Maybe I could play it, I, I guess. I don't, I, I may have the music on my tablet. Uh, but yeah. Classical John. Yo, thanks, Hasselot. I appreciate you.
Need to put shorts on. Oh, right on. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, I forgot my uh, arpeggio pattern for that. Yeah, it's, so you have to do a, a thumb skip at the beginning. I was trying to like do something with my, my index finger. You pronounce my last name Oath, like Oath of Office. Kind of a strange name for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's how you uh, pronounce my name. <laughs> There's so many dumb things like with my name. Uh, I think I'll say this on stream, but I remember like, a, you know, sometimes you come up with like a joke pickup line, like you're not going to actually say it in real life. But that was always like a joke one was, how would you like to be put under oath or something? <laughs> like, how would you like to be under oath? Anyways. Anyways. Never quite used that one. Never quite used one, that one. I, I didn't think I'd have uh, any success saying that. Alright. What am I feeling like? I said I'd play a Xeno Gears song. Let's do that. We're about to bond sea and flame.
banger. Absolute banger. Woo! I'm rocking the wet hair with sweat. Hey, Nicole, if you're watching, can you turn on the AC? We're now at the difficult time in Arizona where you're like, do I use air conditioning or heating? Or just leave it off? So. Thanks, guys. Definitely a banger. Somebody said 64. My mind automatically goes to Ocarina of Time. And I think it was the 25th anniversary. Can you believe that, guys? We old. We are old. Still young at heart. Dude, I didn't think graphics could get better than Ocarina of Time. Shit looked realistic. tell Nicole that. <laughs> um, all right, let's do title theme. All right. About to get spacey.
Yo, what's up, Nate? Any Pokemon songs? I played a uh, Pallet Town earlier, um, but I I have Undella Town. That is always a favorite. It's also my ending theme on the stream. So. <laughs> I'm not ending yet though. Let's maybe do like uh, maybe like two more songs. I think. to hear the rest here. Woo! All right. Something I always remember. I, I don't know if you guys are King of the Hill watchers, uh, but that is a show I very much enjoy. And there's always, there, there's always like this scene I think about, uh, I forget what the episode was about. I think like they visit Bill's uh, I don't know, like, plantation of sorts, or, uh, something in Louisiana, and uh, Bobby is taking after one of his uncles, I think. It's been a while since I've seen it. But he goes, he's sweating in Louisiana, and he goes, Woo, this flower is Wilton. And I think about that, like, half the time that I'm sweating. Flower is Wilton. Next cover song coming soon. King of the Hill theme song. This is composed by Mike Judge. <laughs> that boy ain't right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, I, I think I gotta turn on some AC. Give me a second. Yeah, me and Nicole did a whole watch of King of the Hill like, uh, this year, early this year. this way don't hit the microphones <laughs> hey, my Mimi. I'm good yeah I love you my Mimi she's purring so loudly Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't usually do this. You okay, Mimi? There you go. She just loves to be on stream. Yeah. <laughs> Last 
Last pets. There you go. All right, this is Undelatel. <laughs> no way, Nicole said main character vibes. This is Mia's stream now. Just the small change of the AC. Yo, thanks for the raid. What a what a guy. Appreciate it. <laughs> Rot the coffees. Yo, what's up, guys? Playing some video game music. This is Undelaton from uh, Pokemon, which I forgot the banner. Meowth in the background. I thought I saw her walking around. She's patiently waiting by the door. Being a good kitty. All right. Let me know if uh, there's any tunes you guys want to hear. I'm kind of just playing uh, whatever I'm feeling. Uh, I haven't streamed in a little bit, so I'd, I think, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit to get some of like the older songs under my fingers, but I'd, I'd like to get to like a higher level of playing on some of the older stuff. Somebody said Final Fantasy X. Oh, Animal Crossing would be good too. I'm working on Yuna's decision right now from Final Fantasy X. All right. It's hard to search for Final Fantasy X because then everything, you know, with the Roman numeral after comes up. Like Final Fantasy 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, let's see what would be good. I really like playing Calm Before the Storm, but I have to detune. Do a cool hymn of faith. This 
Spiro Unplugged might go crazy. But I, I don't know if I can pull that off. Via Perifica would be fun to play. I think I'm I think I'm feeling calm for this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. play King of the Hill in a different key. recently watched the episode with uh, Hank going to a music store and he gets into a boy band. <laughs> King of the Hill creep you out? Oh my god, I love that. Will there be arrangements for Song of Baldur on this year? I am not sure if I can finish that before the end of the year, but yeah, it's going to be next year, early next year. Um, yeah, I have... Uh, family coming over December 15th, 16th, so, you know, that puts a wrap on a lot of stuff, but I, I will still, still be able to stream, uh, but, you know, basically when I record, I don't know, like, I don't want to, like, go to the family, like, hey, can you, everyone shut up so I can record a video game song, <laughs> you know, that's my purse, I don't know you, oh, classic. She'll be crying outside the door in a second here.
absolute banger. Why does that sound like... S oh my god, that sounds exactly like Breath of the Wild or something. <laughs> like, small little sound cues. Maybe just me. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's do a, a chill Animal Crossing song. Honestly, I need to do more Animal Crossing. Especially the Roost, I love that song. far have I gotten in Baldur's Gate? Not far enough because yeah coordinating with four people is actually kind of hard <laughs> but it is uh very fun to play like compared to solo. Yo shout out to Igor. Appreciate it bud. All right this is uh 2 a.m. from Animal Crossing Wild World. Yes, my t-shirt is that. 
You haven't forgot the PIMP. <laughs> Those are some classic, classic uh, John moments. <laughs> uh, let's do uh, a me from instead of Balan Garden. Okay, guys, I think this will be my last. Give my hands a little break. But I do want to, uh, I want to start streaming, you know, roughly like once a week. Kind of depends on uh, what other videos I'm working on or something. But I'd like to shoot for that as a goal. So I intend on streaming more frequently, and I'd love to see you on the next stream. So, yeah, I appreciate you being here. This is one of my favorites I've done this year. It's kind of a, a little bit tricky. But yeah, it's like so like pianistic. Thank you for being here, everyone. Ha ha, super reverbed. Thanks again for being here. Um, yep. Appreciate you watching the stream. Appreciate you listening to the music. 
You trying to make an appearance? Oh, we got Nicole, Nicole and Charlie. He might pee on me on stream. No. Did he? Has he peed? Oh my god. <laughs> and that's Charlie. <laughs> that is Charlie. Little Charlie uh, appearance. <laughs> but yeah, he's still in the puppy stage. He's um. Let's see, I think he's like eight months now, so he's still super young and off the walls. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for listening on YouTube, the stream, Spotify, whatever it be. Uh, I, I super appreciate that, and yeah, it means the world to me. And uh, yeah, sorry, I haven't been consistent on streaming. Things have been just a little bit uh, crazy in my personal life that, you know, just things need to be handled, and, you know, thankfully everything's good now that you know, I feel like comfortable streaming more regularly and stuff. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the songs. Hope uh, next stream I'm a little less rusty. Uh, but, yeah, uh, take care, everybody, okay?